guys, this is a reading for those that chose pile number one. This is strictly a career reading, job, employment, however you want to think of it. All right, here we go. Those that chose pile number one <clears throat> selected the amethyst crystal. What do we have to say? What does pile number one have to know about what's going on with them, please? So we have here the four of earth. This is holding on to your resources, not saying a lot about what's going on, trying to get things to bloom and grow, but it's still really in the stages that I feel like it's just like the planting stages where things are beginning to bud, but you're not really sure if it's going to grow or take or be something strong. Okay. So this could be you're holding in your emotions. You're really not telling people what you're thinking. You are completely into yourself in a way that um, you're not communicating with even your employers or those around you, how you really feel or what you're thinking, things like that. You're just kind of a poker face, I want to say. And four has a lot to do with stability. Of course, we're talking finances, which is evident here by the pentacles, of course. Um, I want to know, take a look at her little antlers here. <clears throat> this fairy has antlers, so she can fly. Things are blooming. It is a slow bloom. Think that maybe the resources that you are getting, if you're currently employed, um, you might be underemployed. You feel like you're getting like one bloom from this and you're just hanging on for dear life. I wanna show you, this right here almost looks like a key to me. In part of my nails, I tried to take off my gel nails, but that didn't go as well. Um, it almost looks like there is a key right there. Um, and it's going to take a little bit of time for that. She's not even glancing up on it to see what that is. She's focused on the bloom itself. But I think that this might unlock a door that you're not expecting. Okay. So your second card right here is about personal power. Let me see if I could draw this closer. Yeah, there we go. So all about personal power is talking once again, um, about you, about having choices to make, about maybe perhaps even standing on high ground as high as you possibly can to get a better view. This giraffe has a really long neck that they can poke their neck out um, in the middle of trees or anything like that to see what is really going on. So I feel like you want a higher perspective, but I feel like you can't really see because she can't actually see. It's only the giraffe that can see what's beyond, right? So it is still making a choice. You might have a choice between um, remaining with the job that you're at or taking the small offer that you feel like isn't quite for you. Or you can go ahead and go with the job that you're at and just see how it goes. But this is trying to get a view into the future with, of course, the light in the lamp right there. Um, your root chakra is highlighted right here, which is located at the seat of your body anyways. And it's kind of interesting, but uh, that's the color they assigned that she's sitting on. So, with that being said, I have... Interesting, I did not expect this. Sorry about that. I have the number six, and it stands for love, of course. That's the word on there. I want you to notice these two pillars right here. It's about stability. It's also... I feel like it's highlighting your personal power. It's a nod to the number two, which I feel like is also personal power. If you notice these lines right here, reminiscent of the sphinxes of uh, Egypt, at least that's kind of how I'm feeling it to go. And it wants you to walk through that door. And it's like, what door is it? You want to stay cozy. You want to stay a little bit in your comfort zone, I feel. The lion is sleeping. Um, we know that the lion's rule the jungle and <clears throat> pardon me so they definitely are highlighting that you just kind of want to be comfortable you want to be enveloped in comfort but the door is right there it's literally right behind you 
So I feel like don't give up now. You may have been thinking about, you know, throwing in the towel, giving up, waving the white flag, whatever you want to you wanna call it, but don't do that just yet. Because if you just look up, I feel like shortly here, you're going to find a doorway. <clears throat> and it's only natural to want to walk through these two pillars. I feel like you're going to have the sphinxes or the lions guiding and guarding you. And that is, it's going to give you, I feel like a great awakening. I think that you're going to be really kind of like, well, obviously this is door I have to walk through. So just a little while longer, wake up from that slumber. Um, I feel like you just want to sleep and maybe a little bit of depression, maybe feeling like you just can't see anything that's hopeful around. But the number six always also reminds me of the vibration of victory, like the six of wands. And so I love that about it. But I feel like this is a doorway to what you really love, okay? So whatever it is that you really love, whether you love painting, art, or doing readings for people, or a therapist, or a doctor, whatever the case may be, um, I feel like if you just hang on a little bit longer, that doorway is right there for you to look up and walk through. Like she could almost... I don't know, not crawl through it, but it's so easy to get through those two little pillars. It's crazy. So it's right there for you. Do not lose hope. I also want to say that you're going to have the ability to cut through the bullshit if you don't already. And that's going to give you wings. You're going to be able to fly because I see the wings right here. I think that you're a keen observer. I think that you know when to leave, when to stay. So don't second guess yourself so much. Don't agonize over it. Because I do feel like there's a form of like I want to shut down with the four of pentacles and the the two pillars that keep being echoed right there. It's, uh, you know, this is about, again, your personal power. So if you're not feeling like you have that personal power going on, you may have been feeling like you're losing your mojo. Um, not feeling very optimistic. Maybe wanting to fold in within yourself. And... Um, go into some form of hibernation but i don't think now's the time now if you look at the queen of air she is all about cutting through the bullshit she's been through a lot she's been through a lot of heartache heart pain um she's lived a lot and so she also knows what is bs and what is real and uh she can easily cut through things but this one i like her because she she seems very gentle she almost looks like a barbara's barbara streisand type figure to me interesting whatever that means to you now <clears throat> excuse me I want to say that you're definitely keeping an eye open you're looking around and you are going to have that ability to cut through the quick you might have some really unusual ways of thinking about things looking at things um observing things that people just don't normally see which is kind of cool. I like her use of like unusual jewelry, obviously. Um, <clears throat> I almost feel like her crown chakra is activated here, but you're in the observing mode. So I'm going to suggest you go ahead and just chill right now. Stay quiet, not hush hush, but just observe. Allow those messages to come to you because you are picking up on it. Look at those like vibrant eyes on that owl. It's crazy. I love this deck. This is a good tarot deck, by the way. The next card that I have for you is the Ace of Earth. And this is all about getting exactly what you want. It could be a new job offer. It could be something very solid and substantial. Um, I don't know if this is a deer. You know what? I don't know about game at all. But I don't know if that's a deer or a ram or what kind of elk, whatever. I just know that it's been here for a little while. It looks like the antlers, one of them may have broken and it's still growing. So I think that it's just in the beginning stages. It's gonna be an offer that you like way better than what you have right now. It's gonna be very, very solid. You're gonna feel very rooted. I feel like it's very root chakra-y, if that's even a word, and it's not. But Webster's Dictionary, feel free to steal that from me, yeah. Anyway, so for pile number one, don't lose hope. I want you to look up. You do have something coming that's going to be really more substantial in line with what you want. You're going to feel more rooted, more solid. 
um, it's not going to be as much money or abundant as you want. And it's, don't we don't want to be millionaires off the bat? Just like, hey, I'm going to give you a job and you're going to be earning like $800 an hour or whatever, <laughs> you know, but it just doesn't happen quite that way. So I would say just look at the bones of it. Is it a good structure? Is it a good company, good offer? Does it fall in line with your heart chakra? Does it make your heart sing? Is it really in line with your personal power? Because all of these questions have to be in alignment for it to be good for you, okay? <clears throat> Five of fire. So I think that when you get this offer, or whatever this thing is for you, um, it's going to cause you to struggle. I think you are going to have battles within yourself as well as with those around you. I think that you're going to be a prayer. I also think that you're going to be burning contracts of old, right? Because right here, all I see is like little hands, kind of like praying hands almost in that little, little bed. I don't even know what that is. I see transformation, transmutation. You have wings again. You're very solid and willing to wait. I feel like you waited for a long time though. Look at the flowers growing on her head. You've thought about this for a long time. This is what's going to give you that feeling of I'm solid, but everything around you wants to fight it. It's almost like, well, it doesn't make sense, or my friends and family don't agree with it, or it's not as much as what I should be earning, and I don't know. Those kind of divided thoughts, but you have been waiting for an opportunity like this for a long time. I feel like it is going to take flight. I think that you're going to be in prayer, meditation, or asking your higher consciousness, whatever the case may be with you. Um, and things are going to bloom in such a way that is unmistakable. So don't fight. Don't be at war within yourself. Allow other people to be at war. That's their problem, not yours. Okay? The next thing I have for you is going to be the message of fire. So I think that this is possibly you making contact saying, yeah, I'm going to take that offer. And yeah, look, my crown chakra is lit. I'm listening um, to the messages from spirit. I'm finding my own way. I'm headed on my own path. All of these things are true for me. And I think you're going to be a little bit self-protective. Her arms are covering her chest a little bit like protective mode, but she is willing to take a risk. And you're like, oh my goodness get it get it okay this is gonna be an amazing opportunity for you and um, you're gonna feel so very well balanced coming back into yourself um i think that it's going to allow for the new blooms in your life meaning like new abundance new financial opportunities and things like that to feel like wow this is comfortable it's like a pair of shoes that you love to wear that the minute you slip them on you're like oh my goodness i love how these feel um it's going to be awesome i'm gonna say now this is my single and i'm fully within my own power um all of those things happening but it doesn't have to be. It could be somebody who is really grounded, um, earns their own wealth, and they are a partner, but they're independent. They have their own life. They have their own hobbies. But this is definitely someone that has so much abundance and a willingness and an ability to allow people to come into his or her space and not worry about things so much. Um, you're not gonna depend on other people. Even if you are partnered or married, I feel like you. this is my independent and I'm self-composed and I have everything I need. And so those that I allow in my life, in my heart, they're there simply because um, they're welcome and I vibe with them or whatever the case may be, right? You might have unusual hobbies um, that you put your time, money, energy, and effort into, but I feel like you're really secure. You don't really care what people think. You might really come across as very mysterious because of this moon that I'm seeing back there. She's also shrugged. I love her little coat thingamajiggy. I forget what that thing's called. But anyway, so you might have a taste or a flair for the unusual. And your very last card for pile number one is the Queen of Fire. What? Okay, this is 
all about being in your personal power, but this is the mover, the shaker, the candle maker, the baker, the, I'm just kidding. Um, this is all about being super excited about your own ideas, going after them, and even presenting them to the world, and allowing the world just to really see what you are all about, how she has a light lighting her heart chakra right here. It's something near and dear to you. So if you are not into candle making or baking or whatever the case may be, um, then don't do it, okay? Because that's not that's not what this reading, this pile number one, is about at all. This is about what makes you excited. If you love to like do mosaics or paint or draw or cut hair or whatever, whatever the case may be, that is your gig and you're going to bring it in a big, big way. You're going to make it your own. I think that this is like a lot of nods and references to Leo. I see a lot of lions, um, movers and shakers, managers, bosses, business owners. Okay. All of those are present in this reading. A lot of heart energy. Well, Leo's are all about heart. I didn't even think of that. And I want to say that also the Queen of Fire, even if this is a reference to like obviously female, um, the Queen of Fire is also seen as a, she's almost seen like the actress. She's very beautiful. People notice when she walks into a room. Let's just say that, okay? So for pile number one, super excited for you, okay? Moving on. Let's do pile number two. So pile number two was the Ammonite. Ammonite, pile number two. What do we have as far as career goes? What's going on here? For those with the Ammonite vibration, those that picked pile number two, please. Now, I want to say really quick that Ammonite, I always... Um, I'm going to show you really quick. I always attribute it to like ancestors listening to your higher calling. Look how beautiful that thing is. Um, and the fact that it goes kind of round and round reminds me of like the shape of your ear, like the conch shell of the ear. It's about listening, lis listening to your inner self, listening to even your ancestors giving you messages and all of that. So here we go for pile number two. So I have here the page of earth and this is once again, I'm making small deposits, getting a small offer. I feel like you wanna fly. Um, you might have like a, a desire to invest or you've been slow to move, thinking about things, making slow, tiny investments into something that has, um, you're greatly attracted to. I feel like you've kind of been a little moth flittering back and forth and you always return to this loud one example would be like if those of you are like in investing you know stocks and bonds or whatever and you kind of like dabble in it and you always come back to it your whole life or that you're somebody who is in the uh, a different industry and then you always come back to wanting to invest in like a restaurant business and maybe you don't want to be like the lion's share but you want to have an investment you have an interest and you're not really sure but you want to check it out a little bit so I feel like you've kind of been a little bit of a flutter by here and there, but this is a solid offer that you want to make or someone wants to make you. It's going to help you feel like you have wings, you have freedom, you have an ability to move. Also, it's been growing on your mind for a long time. Even though this boy is young, um, I think that you have always had an interest and a desire for whatever this thing is. Um, and I also want to apologize for my little microphone thing. It cracks me up. I didn't even notice that until I got halfway through the first reading. Anyways, who cares? We're here for you. Pile number two. And um, moving on. So it is going to be a small investment, but I feel like you're going to take it more seriously. Like his eyes are more intent than they have been before. Um, I think that it's going to show great movement for you. The next thing that I have, I have the Ten of Water, woo! So I feel like it's a lot of excitement, um, curiosity, a lot of abundance. It could even be for some of you guys wanting to work at a bar or um, somewhere where they serve alcohol, those kind of things, or being a mixologist. Anything like that that has a lot to do with like an abundance of food. Um, it could be, you know, those fancy um, restaurants and things like that. But, you know, whatever it is that you, you've been going back to over and over in your mind, 
throughout your lifetime. I feel like this is a good idea. You're attracted to it for a reason, okay? Now, I want to be, I want to show you. Look, he's got like the mala beads. My little Buddha here has the mala beads. He's all happy um, about this whole thing. And I feel like it is going to create a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. Um, I even see or feel, sorry about that, like it's almost like a little Niagara Falls by, and behind them, like the mist. I think that you're going to feel a little bit misty-eyed, very overwhelmed with emotion, very excited, very, oh my goodness, I'm home, very emotionally fulfilling, okay? Um, whatever this is, if, I'm going to say do it. Do you Give more of yourself. If you have just thought about it before, just jump in and do it. Stop thinking and just start doing. A lot of us have been in this mode where we were trapped by kind of our own making and what the world thought we should be and what we thought we should be according to the world and whatever and now it's about really finding who you are and your passion so please do i want to say indulge in yourself in a healthy balanced way and go for it because this is going to really hit home for you i feel like it's going to hit a level of spirituality in you that you never thought also um that you would actually hit you're just going to be in zen okay in your zen now with that, I kid you not, I'm just like mixing these cards and they are just so far nothing but abundance. Oh, here, let me fix this because these guys need to be seen and heard. Okay, so I have here the Empress and I love that. Um, it's all about creativity. It's vibration number three. It's about cooperation, all the cogs working together. And it's a little bit, you could be like a hidden investor, a secret partner, a silent partner, that kind of a thing. You maybe don't want other people to know what you're doing, and that is fine. And I feel like you are going to reap harvest in this investment, whether it's time, money, energy, effort, or just attention, or taking a class and not telling people about it, whatever the case may be. Um, you know, I think that even cooperation can be your mind, body, and spirit being in alignment, okay? taking things seriously and aligning those three things because before maybe your uh your body was one way and your mind and your spirit was somewhere else i feel like there was a big division and that is no longer going to be the case you are going to be in alignment and from this you are going to start really blooming i think that's more like a lotus flower and you're going to start blooming, which means to me that you're going to experience growth and beauty. However, that applies to you. It doesn't mean that you're making fancy paintings. Anything can be beautiful. Uh, what do they say? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So whatever you consider um, bloom and grace and beauty and enlightenment, all of those things. But I do feel like you're going to hold your harvest close to your heart. Maybe you're going to hang on tight to any profits that you make and I feel like you're gonna reinvest or you're gonna hang on tight and just watch a little bit more I feel like um, people around you will cooperate but you're gonna be really silent look at how lit her lips are pressed I'm not saying anything about what it is that I'm doing I'm just doing small investments I'm earning like a nice little sum back but I'm not gonna say anything to anyone I don't want people to get in my business maybe you're thinking I don't want people to try to discourage me from doing what I want um, all of those can factor into this, okay? But you have some supporters here for you. So make no mistake, this is, you're going to be in your zen and it's a good, good thing. Next thing I have for you is the queen of water. And that's pile number two, the queen of water. This is my most psychic card. Well, one of them. And sorry about the drag racing in the background you guys Ooh, maybe it's gonna go really fast maybe you know that um the queen of water you're getting messages and you're gonna start whether it's male or female i don't care you're gonna start getting a lot of messages and downloads Ooh, look at how this coincides she is listening she's absolutely listening and it goes to the crystal that you chose um that ammonite that beautiful you know i feel like we need a feature it because Mostly I was trying to test out my microphone and do like a little reading, but I just thought I went all for it, of course, the way I do everything in life. 
So, um, I think that you're going to start getting messages. These messages are going to come in fast and furious, just like that little drag racer in my hood neighborhood, right? And I want to say that you're going to do way more listening and taking things in than you ever have before. But I feel like this listening is going to come from your higher self, from God, from spirit, your spirit guides, whomever your, your spiritual team is. Um, I think that this has been something that's a long time in coming that you typically have listened before or you have heard but not listened. And what I mean by that is when you hear something but don't act on it, that's hearing. But when you listen, that's hearing something and you act upon it, okay? So there's a great element of you listening and acting upon what your ancestors have been giving you all along. And um, I think that you're just going to start acting a little bit faster and faster the more that you see the rewards coming back to you. And you're not going to be second guessing or messing around with the old stuff that you were before. You're probably going to have the same job that you were um, initially before the world ended, before this all craze has really transformed the world. But I do feel like this has kind of motivated and brought you out of your shell to try investing in yourself. Okay, and I love it. I love that about you. I think that you're going to become even more psychic than before. There is an element of blue in here, of course, for the water, a lot of emotion once again. But I also feel like you're going to be speaking your truth. For the first time in a long time, you've held silent for so, so long. It is no longer time for you to be silent. It's going to very soon be time for you to speak. As soon as you get your feet wet and you know that this is for you. Okay, I have a little... I want to show you before you show the, the next card. I have like this little shell on her forehead. And I think it's almost like, look, I'm a unicorn. I'm different. Like you guys didn't know this about me. So people are going to be really surprised at how spiritual and how fast this goes and how on point you are, by the way. So I do, I'm telling you, I feel a lot of ancestral intervention and assistance for you. Okay. So, I'm not even kidding and you cannot make this up. What? We have 10 of earth. We have financial abundance. We have inheritance. I feel like even if you're not getting like money the way we think of it, this is coming from your ancestors, your DNA, your family of origin. This is everything that's been handed down to you. And it could be talents and ability that you never thought that you had. And a lot of those could be psychic, just listening. Now the payout could, I don't feel like it's necessarily, it could be for some of you who are wanting to be, or are readers and want to take that out into the world, which we need more of you, more of us. But I feel like whatever the case may be, this is going to be really grounding for you, really solid, very profitable money, happiness. You have two tens in your reading so far. Super excited for you. Um, you have loyalty. I feel like you're loyal. You're going to be loyal to whatever this thing is that you are going to birth and manifest. So you go with yourself, go with your gut instinct, with what it is that you are getting those downloads, those dreams, those images, whatever the case may be. Um, continue going with that because it's going to bring exactly what you want even more I mean look at that treasure chest I don't know if you can see that but it's like overflowing okay so I think it's very beautiful and grounded and I am happy for you what this is crazy how these readings are coming out okay queen of earth okay so this is you being grounded being um, at the top of the world basically being exactly where you want to be I think that this is someone who animals and pets, well, pets and children love. Um, it makes you salt of the earth. It makes you super stable for the rest of us. I just want to be real, right? Um, but I think this has to do with your abundance. I think that you are so grounded that you're going to be even more beautiful as a person. I think that you're going to have a glow about you. Some of you actually are going to be pregnant or are pregnant. Um, the rest of you are carrying through with a, a pregnancy of like ideas of a business or whatever and following through with that. And that's going to give you that pregnancy glow, that glow of I'm birthing something into the world and I am just incredibly beautiful and people can not take their eyeballs off you. Okay. Then it's just going to have you vibrating in a better way than you ever have before. So 
super excited. Um, I think that's all good. So that is for pile number two. The next we're going to do is pile number three. And this is the polychrome. I love polychrome. So those of you that chose pile number three, here we go. I'd like to know what is going on with those that chose a polychrome stone, please. This is an incredibly beautiful soothing stone, very grounding also. So if you're drawn to it, it might behoove you to work with it as well. Please tell me what is going on with pile number three. As far as career goes, this is strictly career. Help us to understand and give them hope and a great vision. Look at you. Ten of fire, girl on fire, guy on fire. This is obviously gender neutral. And I wanna say that you are just burning contracts left and right, things no longer serve me, I'm getting rid of them. Maybe you are ending a partnership or several, and this can look like in the following manner. Um, I'm not going to be dating people of this caliber any longer. We don't see eye to eye. I have been bending myself backwards to become what they want. And it's just really not authentic in who I am. No more. Basta. Finito. The end of story, right? So now, currently, I'm only going to be dating people or engaging with people that have my vibration. I'm opening up to spirit. I know exactly who I am. I'm confident and eloquent, but I'm not putting up with any BS any longer. I'm going to transmute that and I'm going to go after um, and allow people in my space who only are a vibrational match. And I love that for you. The tent of fire can really feel kind of, uh, you know, it's just endings, a lot of endings, but I feel like you're doing it. It's not being done to you. You're like, you know what? I'm not the only one in this household. I'm not the only one that can cook and clean and take care of business. I'm not the only one that can contribute. I'm ending those contracts. If you have freeloaders suckling off you, okay, let me not be a jerk about it. But if they're suckling off your teats, that needs to end now. These people are old, old enough to have their own employment, old enough to carry part of the household with you. They are, um, they can contribute. I don't care if they're on, you know, disability or whatever. There's something they can contribute uh, one way or another. If they, you know, can physically make people food or pack their lunches or write a note, that's a loving message. Encourage everyone else who works out of the household or they can tidy up or they're good at organizing or they're good with hair. Um, they're good at purging things or they're good at you know, offering that comfort when you come home after a long day or running you a bath or, you know, whatever. Most people, I'm going to say 95% of the people are going to fit into that category that, yeah, you can lift a finger and do something. So I'm going to ask you to call people around you to raise their vibration, raise their expectation. No longer are you going to put up with people that suck up your energy, personal energy, your electricity energy. They wait for you to come home. They wait for you to, to be the lion and kill everything out there and bring it home. They wait for you to even like prepare the meat and then serve it. I mean, you get the idea of what I'm trying to tell you. You're not putting up with that anymore. You're like going to help people get on their toes by lighting a match under their butts, right? So um, another thing I'm going to say is that you're, you're, I feel like this is burning of old contracts. Things have been concrete. Look at the concrete behind her. The two pillars stand for personal power. Again, number 10 of fire is about endings, but it boils down to number one, which is new beginnings. You're going to start all over again, but with more power, with more vibration. What I mean by that is more excitement, more life to you, more juiciness in your life. You're done with all the bullshit. Sorry, but you're done with all the crap that uh, people are taking from you. They're not giving or this is out. Why am I like investing and in throwing good money after bad money on this project that has not been profitable simply because it's always been the family forever. I'm done with that. I'm done with carrying um, ideas and notions that people expect of me and it's not who I am. I'm done with that. So good for you. Okay. Woo. Look, Ace of Air. You're totally done. Not only are you done, you know what needs to end, what needs to go out to make room for the good, for the stuff that really 
is a vibrational match to you. But you're going to cut through the BS. This is, I want the truth and nothing but the truth. Um, I'm going to cut through all the confusion, all the cloudiness, all the murkiness. You're going to make it clear, not only to you, but to others. What is acceptable, what is not, what you're going to take, what you're not going to take. And you are going to be like that Pegasus. Look at that horn. It's like a unicorn and he can fly. He's just a total badass. I think that this is going to give you wings, new life. It's going to make you feel yourself so much. You're going to feel like vital and excited and I can do this and all of those things. But also that sword can cut both ways. So I think that you're going to be cutting and eliminating things out of your own life that you're like, you know what, I'm done. I'm done feeling sad. I'm done waiting for people to come back to me. I am done with jobs that don't resonate with me, with people using me, with taking credit for my own ideas. I'm done not speaking my truth. All right, I'm done being nebulous and flying under the radar. I'm done with that. Now I'm flying and uh, people are gonna know it and I love that for you. And here we go, look, that's gonna give you so much more stability. Never mind the vibrancy, you're gonna feel vibrant and excited. Let's get these cards fixed. I'm trying out my new microphone so you guys can actually see the microphone because I've had audio problems. And I didn't start out doing like this video for real but then i was like you know what we need to do this and um i didn't realize that you would have the pleasure of seeing my fuzzy microphone thingy majiggy whatever it's called anyways so ace of earth um ace of earth stands for i'm investing a new job offer um i'm gonna invest my time my energy my money um my hopes but this is solid this ace of earth is going to bloom it's going to bring forth so much more stability for you so much more joy i feel like you've been perhaps emotionally unstable and so cloudy you're not using your voice to speak what you feel and what you think about your own profession about your own job how things are done at work perhaps that can be could be even the same industry but you're going to revamp it and you're not going to or go with a different company and do the same thing um but something way more stable and you're going to start asking people to meet you at a higher level than you ever have before okay so ace of earth this will be abundant it might take a little bit of time to get off the ground but you're not wasting your time and you're not wasting your money or effort or energy i want to tell you that so that is really really good messenger of air so pile number three um messenger of air is all about being able to get messages and give them back cutting through the quick being clear on what you want having clear expectation communication all of those things and i think that you're going to speak more clearly than you ever have before i love that for you um i feel like there's a little bit of longing in this maybe you have been longing to get communication um, and you've waited for it for so long and you felt like it was not going to come. It is going to come and you're going to be able to speak your truth as well. Now, here we go. I have the Hierophant. Maybe you're going to commit to a job, a career, or commit to yourself and go higher than you ever expected. Like perhaps like, you're an optician, you decide to go and finish credentials and just become a doctor, go to school for it and be an optometrist or you could be, you know, currently at a lower level and then you just decide, you know what, I'm going to live these years anyways. I'm just going to go for the big guns and do what you want and do what you love and go for it. So whatever the case may be, I feel like this is a solid thing. Um, you are going to commit. It might be up till like the next full moon that you decide, I'm going to go for this. And I feel like some of you guys can be journalists, photojournalists, look at the quill right on her altar but you have all the tools literally bring this into being bring this down from heaven to earth maybe it's been something that you've been dreaming of and just really haven't gone after for whatever reason i don't know why but you have all the tools it's going to make you fly um i think that is going to really highlight how graceful you are um in this industry or in this job and i think that you're going to be viewed as someone like that we can commit to whether this is a relationship or a professional relationship. It's like, you know what, we can commit to this person because they're solid, they have all the tools, they are emotionally balanced, they can read, they're eloquent, um, they can communicate. 
eloquently. They have a higher perspective and higher expectation. And look, her arms are lifted to the heavens. Like you're willing to reach for things and you're not afraid to hold on to what's been on earth for a long time. You're willing to try different things. Um, I even see like a little potion right here. So I think that you are bringing so much to the table and people are realizing that. And they're like, you know what? We want you on our team. I love that. I think you have a lot of mystery, but people want to align themselves with you. Now, for the first time ever, I feel like I have this half moon thingamajiggy, whatever this is called, but this reminds me of a clock. So what I'm seeing is it's halftime. I don't know if that means something to you, um, but it could be, you know, we're going to do a pause and reevaluate and reach even higher. Maybe that's what you're thinking. Maybe other people are thinking that for you. So... Again, a lot of blues in here, a lot of flight, a lot of airy ideas. But this is solid and bringing things down into earth and manifesting something greater and bigger than you. The next card that I have for you is the strength card. So you know what you want. This is also like the symbol I feel for Leo. Taming your inner desires, inner emotions, inner ideas. Um, being able to just harness them. Even though you want to roar sometimes, you're going to be like, you know what? Everything in moderation. I've got this. And it's almost like she's like, you know what? Calm down. I've got this. You don't need to roar. I'm going to communicate clearly what I expect, what I want. And it's going to come. Why? Because people respect me. And that's how you do, right? So... Um, this print card number eight, this could be about cycles. I do see a lot of fruit, a lot of abundance coming towards you soon. And you won't have to yell for it. You're like, yo, this is what I want. I don't know where my ghetto -ness is coming from right now. So sorry about that. <laughs> but you're going to be like, you know what? I want more. I want better. I want to raise. I want, you won't have to squeak and squawk about all of that or even roar about it. If you have a team that you lead, you're not going to have to scream at them. Or even like try to put the fear of the lion in them. You are just going to, with gentleness, say this is what I expect. And when they don't perform or give you back what you expect, I think that you're going to be able to have direct eye contact. You're going to be very calm about it and just have a silent penetrating look, if you know what I mean. Now, personally, I find those to be a little bit scary, right? If somebody just looks at you and goes like, deep in your eyes and like uh you know that's not what i'm expecting go back to drawing board and bring me back what i want so i think you're gonna have so much personal power that you're gonna be surprised with yourself i think that you're gonna um be using your words in some ways a little bit less verbose and a lot more clear for example um, if you're used to speaking five paragraphs about one issue you're going to narrow it down to like three sentences. You're going to be very concise in how you communicate and allow the silence, whether it's a pregnant silence or an expectation silence or whatever you want to call them. But you're going to let that linger and let other people jump and meet that because you don't have to fill the silence with nervousness whatsoever. So I hope that that's making sense for the polychrome choice, step number three. But uh, that's what I'm seeing so far. And I do feel like you're going to be a pillar of strength in spite of your expectations that people can absolutely rely on you. Now that is going to transform. I'm trying to see if there's another card under this. It feels like two, but it's not. So I feel like this is going to transform everything about your life. All that, you know, I mean, I feel like she's kind of blowing chart off of her hands and she's like, you know, that is a contract that's no longer and this is going to transform your life i think it's on a bigger scale than you've ever seen it before um i think that it's going to hold all of your attention it is a number 13 um typically that is affiliated with like death in the regular tarot the death is going to be there in order to everything go back to the ground back not back to the drawing board but really it's like vitamins and nutrients that the ground needs that you need energetically in order to produce something bigger and more elevated and more exciting and more true to you and more fulfilling so whatever that is um you know for example one example would be the need to speak too much uh you'll be able to kind of 
clearly communicate in such a concise manner and be comfortable with those silences. And people are going to be shocked, I think. And they're going to be left scrambling to fill up those silences or those holes or the new way that you communicate. And I think it'll be natural. It won't be a manipulation type ordeal, but it'll be very natural. And it'll force other people to really act and react differently um, and to perform around you. So I love that too. Here we go. The two of water. That's going to bring about the simpatico. I don't know why I get that idea, but this is like, um, how do I explain simpatico? Like when somebody is like likable or like people want to be close to you all of a sudden, but you're not allowing yourself to be used and manipulated and sucked dry until you have nothing more to give. And people are gonna, you're gonna draw people like a moth to a flame. You're gonna be super attractive, attracting. And it is gonna be platonic and or romantic. It doesn't make a difference. Um, it's all about people being drawn to you. It's a workforce thinking, wow, like I wanna be close to him. I wanna be close to her. I wanna get to know them better. They're really unusual. Some magic about you is going to speak loudly. And the rest of us are gonna be listening, trust me, okay? So that's super attractive. Um, people having your same vibration, the common ideas that you've been wanting to manifest, those ideas, those desires, whatever interests you, you're gonna draw people um, into the same pond. You're like a magnetic force, almost like the sun pulling people towards you. So I like that too. So the next message that I'm getting is a messenger of earth and that is being really fully grounded and being at peace, being able to make offers and accept offers that are abundant. You're communicating about money, about salary, about what I expect. Um, you're like, yeah, this is my base salary. It's just a message, right? But I'm abundant and I also want this. I want a percentage of X, Y, Z, whatever the case may be. And I think that that is coming to you. And you're gonna, look at how her lips are pressed. Her eyes are intense, super stable, you guys. So I'm excited for you. Um, the very last thing I want to tell you is follow your intuition, your gut reaction. Number two, again, it is a nod to your personal power. And what is that nod exactly? That nod happens to be your intuition. You know what needs to go, what bullshit needs to leave your life, what contracts need to be broken, and what you are bringing in. And that might be a little bit exciting, a little bit nerve wracking. I feel like some people are going to get flutterbys, which is the butterflies in your stomach um but listening to intuition that is divinely given to you by spirit by god by your higher self by your ancestors whomever and it is that you know personal vibration the number two choices and options and personal power what drives you and your fire and your deep commitment on a soul level to yourself so all of those things fall into place for you and Oh my goodness, if you <laughs> if you like this reading, please like, share, subscribe. I have totally given myself over to like, I, I got the goosebumps, I'm super excited. But I want to tell you, if you could please like my channel, I would super appreciate that. And with that, um, I'm excited for you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this is Chris with Psychic MG, and I am signing off. Have a great day. Bye.